Welcome back to Jesse's Performance. We are back from LS Fest and we are back at it, working on all these customer cars and Jesse has decided to give the Trans Am kind of a break and get back to working on the Trans Marrow, which makes me super excited. So um, I'm gonna have him kind of talk about some of the things that he's done and show you a few of the projects that we've got uh, here at the shop right now. We, if you see in the background, we've got a 62 Corvette and a 78 Trans Am, I believe it's a 78, um, that we're gonna be doing some work on. So I'll just kind of give some clips of some of the cool cars that are here and here we go. No, obviously, or the car would be together already. Oh. Talk loud, because JJ's being loud. Okay, people, here we are. We're gonna do real. Talk oh. real. Talk real, all right. Here we go. Okay, so Stacy has been on my ass about getting the Transmero going. Uh, she wants to go racing. She wants to get her, 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 her show on the road. Uh, so, Leave it to me and Kyle to put in some extra time to start getting the Transmarrow ready to go. So far, what we've done is we've mocked up the new quarter panel that was uh, damaged in the wreck um, of the uh, the part-time owner. You can call him that, right? Temporary. Temporary. Temporary owner. That's yes. a good one. The temporary owner of the Transmarrow. Um, yeah, so um, we're getting that lined out. Um, we had to do that so we could get the wheels fit so I can measure for axles so we can get axles coming so I can build the rear end. Um, you know, it's kind of a lengthy process doing all that, but that ain't no big deal. And then also uh, we got the motor set back up in there. It's mocked up. I'm gonna have to build brackets for our motor plate, our rear motor plate. And then the front motor plate will come down with the strut bars when we get to that point. A um, lot of work, a lot of work. This thing actually sat outside and it got a little crusty. So we had to do some cleaning on it. We got some more cleaning to do. I got some more welding to do. We still got to build the back half. We still got to build the front suspension stuff. I think the front is going to be easier than the rear because there's a lot less mass involved, but it's all, um, it's all science. It ain't no big deal. We'll, we'll get it taken care of, right? Yeah. When do you think we're going to have this done? Um, I don't know. I was talking with uh, our guy from Jolt about wiring this car at the beginning of the year. So I got now to the beginning of the year to have it all ready. Um, I got to have it fabricated. Uh, the chassis done. I gotta have it pulled apart, painted, powder coated, whatever I'm gonna do, and final assembled again. That way we don't have to lay wiring, pull wiring back out and lay it again because knowing my luck, he'll do a really good job and I'll <laughs> taking it apart and putting it back together some which way. So um, So Ryan from Jolt's gonna actually come here and wire the car? Um, yeah, I think I can sweet talk him enough uh, to do that. That'd I think, be awesome to have yeah. him a part of this project. Yeah, yeah he's a really good guy. He's the best at what he does. You know, I wouldn't have anyone else help me out on it. So, um, but and there's gonna be a lot of new technology I put in this car that I haven't put in any of our other cars because they've all been like streetable cars, and this is like full blown. Like it's gonna have traction control, ride height sensors, wheelie sensors, G sensors, tire temperature sensors uh we, we've been talking mad 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 science to stuff so can you control all that stuff through the holly dash through the holly dash i think you can monitor it all through the holly dash and the holly dominator um we'll have inputs for it and um we'll have a davis box for traction control which is also part of the holly so yeah so we're gonna have a sweet little hot rod it's gonna be like a basically a space shuttle at this point so the million dollar question that every customer asks us when's it gonna be done I think the idea of having a project done is all about your perspective on your build. Is it ever your really build. done? Anybody that's ever worked on cars before knows. Yeah. They're never done. Yeah, this thing, I mean, what, we've had it on interviews, magazines, all that shit. And look at here it is, apart again. So I don't think done is a term that we use in the automotive world, unless we're talking about like the motor being done, like there's rods hanging out the side of it, done. <laughs> That's the other side of done. That's that's what done is in our world. <laughs> it's like done, like it can't be used no more. So do you think we'll be able to have this car at um, LS Fest West next year? Maybe not to race it, but to debut it. That is my goal. Um, we got a few customer projects we're gonna take um, debut. 
um, in Vegas, and I, I want this one to be one that's there. Even if, like you say, it's not making passes, but maybe if we can put it around the pits and, you know, maybe make a hit in it, maybe I'll make a hit in it, maybe you'll make a hit in it, who knows. You know, even just, you know, go out and do a burnout and... Yeah, we gotta at least have to do a burnout. We yeah. didn't do any burnouts in Kentucky and my heart was just broken. Yeah, Kentucky for us was kind of a letdown. Well, it wasn't so much a letdown, it was just we were all so exhausted by the time we got there, like it wasn't even, we were all just zombies walking around a car show. We didn't have the excitement of one of our own cars being there, I think was what I mean by letdown, so it was kind of like... We let ourselves down by not having our cars there. There you go. Right? There you go, yeah. That's what it was. We didn't meet our own goals and expectations. Right. So it made the, the event not as fun for us, but it was still really great to see our customers' cars. And know what we can expect for next year. Right. Our, our customers' cars got to be, like, you know, presented in booths, and everyone loved it, and, yeah, we'll do a lot of videos and a lot of... Well, I don't know. I've been terrible about doing videos of this car because I just get in the zone and just work on it. I know. All week. I, I got some picture clips I can insert. but I got no video clips. Yeah, so maybe we'll set up a camera. It's just really hard. GoPro suck. They got like a life, battery life of like 26 minutes and 47 seconds and then they die or something. It's stupid or they're overheating and smoking and then they're done. <laughs> This is a 62 Corvette convertible. We did the motor swap on this, I don't know how long ago, maybe, I don't know, a year ago? I don't know. We put a 408 in it. Um, it's got air ride, and um, I believe we put this one on Holly. Pretty sure this one's on Holly. Um, he brought it back for some, some simple little things, but we are hopefully gonna be doing paint and body work on this car here pretty soon. Super cool car, super cool customer. We really like this car. This car just came to us. Um, the customer came and talked to us a few months ago. He had another shop built this car for him. It's LS swapped. It's a 78 Trans Am. He is just unhappy with the, the ride. Uh, the motor fitment in the engine bay is really bad. Um, I'm, I don't know who the other shop is and I don't talk bad on other shops, but he brought it to us. Uh, he saw Jesse's car on the internet and really liked the appearance and you know the stance on Jesse's car is really great. So naturally like everybody else he wanted his trans am to be just as cool so we're excited to work on this one we really don't work on a lot of trans ams oddly um we get a lot of inquiries about them but mostly it's people wanting to build cars exactly like ours and it's a spendy budget to be able to do that so um luckily we're going to be able to make this one a really nice street car it's a pretty cool car and uh we love to work on the trans am And then we do have Big Nasty here again. Um, we've done a little video clip on Big Nasty. This is a big block turbo 400, uh, I don't know, C10, shitbox C10 build. Um, uh, Rick decided he wanted to sell this truck. So uh, we sold actually the body to Dave, who has a 408 that he's gonna put in it. So we get to build this truck um, with the LS in it. So it's gonna be pretty cool when it's done, but um, for right now, it's still just old Big Nasty. So now that we're back from LS Fest, we're able to get back to working on some customer stuff. We have Chase's Stepside C10. Um, we had just painted that one a little bit ago. We've got it back into the, um, bot not the body shop, the mechanic shop, and we're getting everything all buttoned up, the axles and wiring, and uh, I'll let JJ tell you what he's doing. Um, everything's actually finished as far as like, you know, electrical, things like that. What we, what we lack right now is our brake hose. We just got from O'Reilly's. We need to make rear end brake lines. Um, we're pulling the axles out right now so we can drill and slot them for our new axle studs. And then we're going to go ahead and bleed the brakes and then start testing. So let me done. go home. Oh my goodness. All right, y'all, that's it for this week. I am going to step up my recording game. I am missing a whole ton of content here at the shop. So I vow from this point forward to be better about setting up cameras and catching actual work going on here at the shop and not just a whole bunch of talking. I also got some more equipment coming, so we're gonna have some better audio. I got some wireless microphones coming. So um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share. Sharing our videos really does a lot for us. Uh, we're trying to grow our channel and we appreciate everybody's dedication and um, commitment to watching our videos every week and so thank you very much and uh, thanks for watching.